As we mentioned in the previous video, the line current, the current running through the transmission line from the source to the load, runs directly into the phase, each individual phase of the three phases, or into the load of each of the individual phases. In a Y-connected load, the line current and the phase current are exactly the same. On the other hand, in a Y-connected load, the phase voltage, VA, or the voltage across the actual phase, or the, the impedance of that phase, we call VAN. It's the voltage from the A terminal to the neutral. It's the voltage right across there, or VBN, the voltage right across there, or VCN, the voltage right across there. Those phase voltages are different than the line voltages, where the line voltages are VAB, the voltage from the A line to the B line, VBC, the voltage from the B line to the C line, or VCA, the voltage from the um, C line to the A line. So let's go ahead and finish filling these in. We've got VAB plus to minus, then we've got plus to minus VBC, and we have then plus to minus VCA. And our purpose here is to determine the relationship between the phase voltage, the voltage across the individual impedance, and the line voltage, which is the voltage between two lines. As you look here, you can notice that there are actually two phases, two sets of impedance, or two impedances, between point A and point B. And again, our purpose now is, determined, is to determine the relationship between the line voltage VAB and the phase voltages. So, let's finish filling this in. We have VAN is the voltage across the A phase, plus to minus VBN is the voltage across the B phase, and VCN plus to minus VCN is the voltage across the C phase. Now to determine the relationship between the, two, between the two, we're going to write a KVL starting here at A, dropping down across here, coming back up across there, and back to where we started. Starting here then, going plus to minus, we have positive VAN. Now, here we are at N, we're going back across here, we're going minus to plus, VBN. So minus to plus, that's a voltage increase. That would be then minus VBN. And then from here to here, we're going across from B to A, which is going from the negative to the positive terminal of VAB. So that would then be minus VAB. The sum of those three voltages then equals zero. We can solve for VAB by simply adding VAB to both sides. When we do so, we get VAB is equal to VAN minus VBN. Keep in mind that VAN, VBN, and of course VCN are a set of balanced three-phase voltages, which means that VAN and VBN have the same magnitude, just different phases. It's pretty easy to see what's going to happen if we take this, this equation here and look at it in the phase domain, or in a phasor diagram. I've drawn here VAN, VBN, at least for a positive or an ABC sequence, VBN lags VAN by 120 degrees. So, we can get VAB by taking VAN and subtracting from it VBN. So here's VAN, here's VBN. The way you subtract is you flip it 180 degrees and add, just like vectors. So take this, flip it around to here, and then tip to tail it. So that here's VAB plus a negative, or I'm sorry, here's VAN, plus a negative VBN gives us then that phaser right there, VAB. It's an interesting calculation. It's not difficult to do. It's an interesting calculation to demonstrate 
that the length of this phasor is square root of 3 times the length of VAN. And the angle of VAB, that angle right there, is 30 degrees greater than the angle VAN. So we write that this way. We say that if you've got VAN, you can multiply VAN by the square root of 3 angle 30 to give you VAB. In other words, VAB is square root of 3 times as long as VAN. And the angle of VAB is 30 degrees greater in a more positive direction than VAN. This is true for, a v, or for an ABC sequence. If it's a negative sequence, I'll leave that for you to prove to yourself. The amplitude of the line voltage is still square root of 3 times as long but you end up with a negative 30 degree rather than a positive 30 degree phase shift. Notice our intuition is right. At least our intuition will lead us part of the way. VAB, the line voltage, the voltage from here to here, is greater than the phase voltage. Or the phase voltage, the voltage across a single um, impedance is less than the voltage from one line to the other which then goes across two impedances. You might think that it ought to be twice as big, not square root of three times as big, but because they're out of phase with each other, and again I'm going to leave the trig to you to prove to yourselves, it's not equal to twice VAN, it's equal to the square root of three times VAN.